This time around, we're visiting with Doug Strutman. He is a producer from West Point, Nebraska, in Northeast Nebraska. Doug, thanks for visiting with us here today. Let's talk about the year so far. Everybody says that 2017 was unique in its own right. How did it work out for you guys uh, here in, in Northeast Nebraska this year? We, um, we didn't start planting any corn till it was the first week of May. Um, I know there was corn around us that was probably in the ground for three weeks before that. Um, but it was kind of a struggle, you know, it was wet and cool. Um, you kind of had a small window of when you could get something in. So, uh, you know, instead of, it, it just made it to be longer days and a short amount of time to get, get your crop in. Um, and as far as uh, the crops right now, I mean, I think the, the corn looks, I think looks really well. Um, it got down to the nitrogen and, and it's, it's definitely got moisture. Um, the soybeans, um, our beans were planted probably the later part of May, which I know there were some beans planted before that that struggled a little bit. Uh, we had the cool rain, um, and then the ground got really compacted, and those beans struggled to come out. Um, we do have some fields that um, that we planted, like I said, after those rains, and those uh, some of the beans got into dry ground. And those beans, you can, if you go out there now, they're just coming through. So they've been laying in the ground for, you know, up to a month. And those things are kind of amazing that they're still coming out. Doug, it's uh, great to visit with you. And thanks for uh, telling us uh, the update from Northeast Nebraska. Appreciate it very much. Anytime, Chad. Thank you. Again, we've been visiting with Doug Strotman from West Point, Nebraska. He's this week's featured producer on Fridays in the Field here on the Rural Radio Network. Chad Moyer reporting.